like to learn how to decorate um, your flower pot um, ready for planting your bulbs then you can keep watching um, and I will show you how to do that. If you want to paint your pot you'll need to mix whatever paint you're using with some PVA glue so that the paint will stick to the plastic of the pot. You can use a mixture of green paints, a thin brush and some long thin strokes to create a growing climbing plant. Adding some thicker strokes will look like leaves. To paint daisies or other easy flowers, paint some yellow dots onto your pot. Doesn't matter if you make a mistake, you can turn this into another flower. Then add white paint in outward strokes, leaving some spaces around the dots. If you'd like to paint daffodils to show what will be in this pot, you can paint some yellow triangles for the trumpet of the daffodils and then add on some easy yellow petals. You can then use your green paint to add some stems, leaves and some grass at the base. If you don't have any paint, you can use some of the foam shapes in your craft pack to create petals. Simply cut out some of the circles and other shapes into petal shapes, peel off the back and then stick them onto your pot. To finish your pot, you can include some of the insect shaped foam shapes included in your craft pack. Now we're ready to plant our bulbs. Okay, so we are ready to fill our pots. Um, you can use um, any soil that you have um, or you can buy some compost from the supermarket or the garden centre and um, it doesn't really matter um, and I have gardening gloves just because I don't like to get the soil in my hands but you can be messy if you like or um, if you have a trowel or even a spade that you would take to the beach you can use that as well but what we're going to do is you're going to get some soil and pop it into the base of your pot when I'm planting my bulb, I need to make sure that the pointy end is pointing up towards the sky because that is where the shoot and the leaves are going to grow from and the little hairy bit at the bottom, um, that is actually where the roots are going to grow from so it needs to be pointing down into the soil. So you can see that I've got my bulbs here and then I'm just going to cover them up with lots more soil. All right, that is us finished. I'm afraid all we have to do now is just wait for our bulb to grow. But hopefully when the spring comes, you will see the little green shoots start to appear and you will have some beautiful daffodils.